Today on World of Fasting Machines, we're looking at the American Dream Machine, the Ultratech V2. Ultratech started in 1965 and was one of the first mass-produced fasting machines to be made in America. The Ultratech has gone through several waves of upgrades over the years, but has never strayed too far from their classic design. The first 10 or 15 machines made in the mid-1960s have a green mast. The next wave in the late 60s and early 70s had a silvery blue mast. Then through the 70s and 80s was the darker blue masks that are very common on the second hand market today. In the 1990s came the black mast, and finally in 2008 the final upgrade was made and the machine became the V5 with the digital angle dial. The machine we're looking at today is likely from the early 1980s. It features an analog protractor to let you know what angle your arm is set to. The vernier scale allows a repeatable setting of a quarter of a degree. The machine includes an easy to use cheater knob to help you micro adjust the index wheel. The standard index wheel for this machine has 96 teeth, though different size wheels are available from the company to be able to cut odd shaped designs. The head moves up and down on the mast by turning the knob on top. There are numerical markings along the mast to help you assign a repeatable height setting for quick cutting. To adjust your cutting angle, you loosen the mast lock on the back and rotate it until it hits the hard stop. You then set your arm to your cutting angle and then tighten the screw in the back to lock it. Once your arm is locked, you can then use the fine adjustment screw on top to dial in the exact angle you need. Once your angle and index are set, you're ready to cut. In order to cut the girdle, you can fold down the rubber splash guard to get it out of the way and then set your index lock to enable the quill to have free spinning action. Then you can easily spin a perfectly round girdle or an easy cone on the pavilion for fast preforming. Newer Ultratech machines use keyed dops which have a 45 degree angle cut into the bottom of them. The dop can only go into the quill in one direction so you can remove the dop from the quill and then put it back in later without having to worry about realigning the stone with your index. The water tank delivers water to your lap and stone through a flexible metal hose. You turn the valve knob on top to open the water drip. Wastewater leaves through a hole in the splash guard that connects to a rubber hose. On the back of the mast base, there is a lever that allows you to move the mast closer or further from the lap and also allows you to completely take the mast off the machine for shipping or storage. Once the lap's removed, you can also remove the rubber splash guard in order to easily clean the machine and the guard. Over the years, Ultratech machines have developed the reputation of being the Rolls-Royce of fasting machines, offering many features to make the fasting experience easier and more precise. These machines are well known for their accuracy and repeatability and are one of the favorites for competition cutters around the world. Thanks for joining me and come back next time for another exciting episode of World of Fasting Machines.